Full game? Yes. Part 2. Interaction. But first, what game are we making? How about this one, where you jump down platforms to kill squares, to get experience, to level up, to kill more squares. Sounds good. But isn't that 2D? Yes. Create a folder. Right click. Create. Folder. Call it scripts. In that folder. Create a script. Right click. Create. C sharp script. Call it player. Open it. Coding time. Oh no, I don't know how to code. Don't worry. Even if you don't understand any of this, you're still getting acquainted, which is good. So what is all this? Our player script, which is a component with some built-in functions like start and update. Delete them. We don't need them. Now what? Movement. Let's check every frame. If the player wants to move, create an integer. Move direction. With this code, it should be negative 1 for moving left and positive 1 for moving right. Let's test it. With debug.log, go back to Unity. Drag and drop the player script onto the sphere. Press play. See this? When I press left, it says negative 1. And when I press right, it says positive 1. Perfect. Right. Now let's make the player actually move. Go back to your script. We need our rigid body. So get it. Now in fixed update, set rigid body velocity x to the input direction. Let's test it. It works, but it's slow. So create a public field, move speed. Let's go with 7. Multiply the velocity by the move speed. That's better. Since move speed is public, you can also change it here. But wait, this movement is bad. Why? It isn't smooth. Let's make it smooth. With math, create a float, move x. We'll use that for horizontal movement. Now an update, make move x gradually move towards the desired move speed at a rate we'll call acceleration. Let's go with 50. Replace it in fixed update. Go back to unity. Press play. Now the movement is smooth. But wait, it can be even better. Let's make it slow down twice as fast as it speeds up. Like this. Now that's perfect. Professional. You can turn down the acceleration to make it more obvious. We're done. If you don't understand this code, that's okay. Just try changing it and see what happens. Try to have fun with it. In part 3, we'll do some graphic stuff, probably. Have you heard of my game, by the way? Orsted.